Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I drew inspiration from this lovely palette, the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes. This palette has been out for quite some time, but this is by far one of my favorite palettes. I love the colors in this palette. I love everything about this palette, the names, everything. It just makes you feel so sassy when you use it. And I wanted to create a look using this, and I really like the way it turned out. I feel like the red lips enhance this look even more. It's pretty neutral on the lids, and you can either decide to add the red lips or just pick whatever lipstick you want. So if you want to see how I got this look and hopefully recreate yourself, then keep on watching. Alright, as you can see, I already did my foundation and contour and put on some chapstick to prime our lips. I'm doing my favorite primer by NYX Eyeshadow Base in white. I love this one. It goes on seamlessly and doesn't crease up on me. And just be sure you blend it in pro well and uh, keep on blending. pick up our lovely Too Faced Boudoir palette, Boudoir Eye Palette, and use the color Fuzzy Handcuffs. This is going to go on our crease or a little bit above the crease to make the eyes pop and look a little bit bigger. And something I didn't say in the beginning is if you want to see a full foundation routine, I'll be more than happy to record that for you guys. Just leave a comment below. If not, I'll probably still do one just to show you guys how I do it anyways, but still leave a comment to show me some, show me some interest, some love. So just keep on blending that fuzzy handcuffs into your crease and just kind of lift it up above the crease a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, just not, just blend it, blend it. That's what we're doing, we're just blending it. Don't get all complicated here. For our all over color, we're going to be using In The Buff. This is the color that we're just going to put on our inner lid and blend it in with fuzzy handcuffs. Taking the color Garter Belt, we're going to blend this in with fuzzy handcuffs, creating that depth look, kind of more like a dimension to the look for our crease. And we're going to focus this inside our crease instead of going a, a little bit above like we did the last one, which was fuzzy, hand Ugh, fuzzy handcuffs. I cannot talk today. So just keep on blending those two together until you get the desired look of eyeshadow the amount of pigment that you want on your eyes goodness gracious what is going on so just keep blending that out I'm gonna stop now okay just when we thought we were gonna be done blending we're gonna blend a little bit more Using a fluffy brush, we're just going to blend out any harsh lines that we feel we may have. And it, we like the way that looks so far. Now taking the color Birthday Suit, I'm going to pop this on into the center of my eye just to make the eye look more um, popping. Pop. We're just going to pop it. We're going to pop it out. Not pop it out of our eye socket, but yes. Anyways, okay, so we're going to take the color Garter Belt and just kind of fix up any lines that we feel that we messed up. Now we're going to be taking the lovely color Satin Sheets. This is by far one of my favorite ones in the palette. And we're going to be putting that in our tear duct and also to highlight our brow bone as well. And then we're going to take um, all the colors we did on the top, fuzzy handcuffs and garter belt, and bring them onto our lower lash line. Focusing on the outer 
corners with the darker colored garter belt and then fuzzy handcuffs in the middle and then in the tear duct obviously is going to be satin sheets. Next we're going to curl our lashes. This is a preparation for our mascara. I like to curl my lashes in between before and after. A lot of people don't like to do it after but I like the look it gives me. Then I'm going to be tight lining my eyes with just any old uh, black eyeliner just to kind of, um, we're just going to tight line. I can't explain. I like the look it gives. It gives like a more fuller lash look when you tight line your eyes. No like gaps in between and whatnot. And then I'm going to be taking another color by Rimmel as well. It's um, a white liner. And then also on top of that, I'm going to be putting in the black eyeliner again, which might be kind of weird, but I like the way it made my eyes pop out with not looking so harsh like I have white eyeliner on. And now I'm going to do my wing. And for this, this one, I really wanted to do a close wing, very tight and very thin, so I wanted to take my time. That's why it's a little slow and dragging. I'm using the liquid eyeliner from elf cosmetics and just taking my time if you're not good at your wing just keep practicing you will get better i promise you and if you mess up the worst thing you can do is wipe it off and start over so it's okay rush through mascara this part took me a little bit longer because I like to use two mascaras this one I'm using the voluminous Miss Magna lashes I really like this one it's really defines my lashes and pulls them out and just makes them very flirty and pretty and on top of that scary face right there I'm going to be using my telescopic carbon black by L'Oreal as well I really like this one because it kind of just separates everything and just I like this one. This is like a go-to tele telescopic carbon black. I like it. And once you're done with your top and bottom lashes, we're going to go back in and just kind of smudge any mess ups that we've had just so it won't be like little dots underneath our eyes. And we're going to curl our lashes again. A lot of people don't like curling their lashes at the end, but I like to do it. It doesn't really pull my lashes apart. I just like the look it gives of um, making them super curly without doing the lashes, fake lashes. And now the fun part, our lips. We're going to be lining our lips with Rimmel London Lasting Finish in Red Dynamite. And um, I like to use a liner when I'm doing like a bold lip because it doesn't allow for the lipstick to bleed onto the rest of your face pretty much. And it kind of seals it into the lip area. I really like, I haven't really used lip, what am I trying to say? I haven't really used, what is this called? Liner before, but when I started using it, I don't know what I have been doing with it without it my whole life. So then for our first color, we're going to be using this Revlon called Wine With Everything. And I really like it. It is like a deep red. Not a deep red. It's like a reddish, pinkish color, but it's really pretty. But I didn't feel like it was giving me the desired red that I wanted to do. So I wanted to add another color on top of that.
The color I chose is by Rimmel London. It is by far one of my favorite lips is the Kate Collection in 01. It doesn't really have a name, but I love this lip color. It's so creamy, it smells so good, and it just tied in the other lipstick so good. And there you go. That's a close-up of the look, and I really love the way it turned out. The lips make it pop. It's just amazing. There you go guys. Um, I really love the way this look turned out. It is one of my favorite looks that I've done in a while. Um, I love the way it opens up my eyes. I love the color on the lips, the way it looks. I just really enjoy this look and I hope you guys do too. If you try it out, please just send me pictures. I would love to see how it looks and how it turns out on you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and follow me on my various attempts at social media. Hopefully you guys like this look and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!